Hello and welcome again to another episode of Currency Insights. Today I have Astrid Drexler, Product Manager for Banknote Substrates, here with me in the studio. Astrid, it's truly a pleasure to have you here again in the studio and to talk to you today about sustainability solutions in banknote production. First of all, Astrid, can you tell us how the picture we saw at the beginning makes a concrete reference to this topic? Of course, the lotus plant is a role model for staying longer clean because its leaves are extraordinary soil repellent and banknotes should stay clean as long as possible during circulation. So uh, anti-soiling property is the most important feature for a durable substrate. And anti-soiling property can be managed in different ways. We decided to implement more nature into the banknotes instead of plastic. And this is what green long life is about. Uh, it's about staying longer clean with a maximum uh, content of natural, sustainable materials. Can you explain how sustainability is described in banknote production and which aspects need to be considered? That sounds a bit too technical for me. Um, we have to understand two important contexts. The first one is about the carbon dioxide emissions. So every process leads to a carbon dioxide emissions and the final product, the summation of all these emissions lead to the carbon footprint. It's the so-called carbon footprint and we want to lower it. So as lower it is, as better. And we have to consider the second aspect, very important. This is about the usage of natural renewable materials that can be measured in certified laboratories. It is about the bio-based carbon content or shortly BCC. We are very proud that our green long life banknote substrate meets both of these aspects. It has a low carbon footprint, product carbon footprint, and a very high bio-based carbon content. Uh, we have reached more than 85%. Yes, so we are very proud of that. What relevance do those have for the central bank? The product is here. It's available immediately for the central banks and they can implement it seamlessly into their series and even in the current series because it's based on the strengths of our long life substrate and it comes with organic cotton, but they also have the possibility, especially the African central banks, to support the Cotton Made in Africa initiative. They stand for sustainable cotton farmed in Africa. Thank you for this explanation. And so, is it worth to mention at the end? For us, the uncompromised security is still the core objective. With our solution, central banks can choose from a wide range of substrates to make the cash cycle more sustainable and even more secure. And we at GND, we are very proud to advise and support central banks for the best individual substrate selection. Thank you so much, Astrid, for giving us a heads up on what's possible today. I really enjoyed having you here again in our studio. Thank you for watching and please check out our new next episode.